Lee, thank you very much, really. And thank you. A very big thank you to Pennsylvania. We love Pennsylvania. And as I was saying... Oh, I love that. I love that chart. I love that graph. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Man, oh man, your girl Kamala is imploding right in front of her eyes. Man, she's a straight disaster. She's in trouble, and everybody sees it. She sees it. She's depressed. And even MSNBC says that Kamala needs to do more interviews. I think it, they've got to double down on doing more interviews and serious interviews. Because what I'm hearing from Democratic and Republican business people and mm -hmm. a lot of men, and she's got such a big problem with men. I mm -hmm. think there's an undercount of the Trump vote. I think there is misogyn misogynation in, in all of this. Black and white men, big problem. But also the business world, they don't think she is serious. They don't think she's a heavyweight. And a lot of this is gender, but she's got to be more specific about her economic mm -hmm. plan. So, yeah, Pamela's going to do more interviews. And she's going to go to shows like Call Her Daddy. I'm curious, like, you don't do too many long-form interviews. What made you want to do Call Her Daddy today? Well, I think you and your listeners have really got this thing right, which is one of the best ways to communicate with people is to be real, you know, and to talk about the things that people really care about. I mean, what I love about what you do is that your voice in, in your show is really about your listeners. And I think especially now, this is a moment in the country and in life where people really want to know they're seen and heard and, and that they're part of a community, that they're not out there alone. And, um, and so I'm really glad to be with you. Yeah, so Kamala is on a sex show. You know, that's so easy. I'm not going to even mess with it. She's on a sex show. Fine. Talk about reproduction rights, whatever. So this past weekend, she's in Michigan, and she had to bring out the big guns. She brought out Magic Johnson. Pause. Now, there's a lot of black men in here, and I don't mean to, you know, not talk to other people, but this is important. Our black men, we got to get them out to vote. That's number one. Kamala's opponent promised a lot of things last time to the black community that he did not deliver on. And we got to make sure we help black men understand that. So that's why I'm here to make sure I help black men understand. First, get out and vote and then vote for the next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Magic Johnson's out here telling we need to get black men out here to vote. Okay? Now, as if though black men don't know what the hell's going on here. This is the most insulting part of this whole campaign. They don't look for black men at all until it's time to vote. Now we got to come out and vote. Black man, listen. We on the bottom of the totem pole. She have never talked anything for black men. She talked about black women, reproduction rights, trans rights, but black men, there's nothing there for us. At least Trump says black more than she does during the campaign. You never hear Kamala says nothing about black people, especially black men. It's always women's, women's rights, reproduction rights, trans rights. That's all she talk about. And now, this guy, Magic Johnson, paused oh with gosh. his son that he raised. He wants us to come out and vote for Kamala. No, thank you. Now, we have the parrot, Kamala, 
had a little malfunction. Let's take a look. Remember his number? 32. Today we got 32 days until the election. <laughs> So 32 days, 32 days. Okay, we got some business to do. We got some business to do. All right, 32 days. And we know we will do it. And, and this is going to be a very tight race until the very end. This is going to be a very tight race until the very end. We are the underdog, and we know we have some hard work ahead. Yes, her teleprompter went down, and the parrot is lost. She don't know what to say. This is horrible. Trump, help me out. Did you see what happened the other day with the teleprompter with her? That was not a pretty sight. The teleprompter went off, and she went off, too. She didn't know what the hell happened. And, you know, teleprompters are very dangerous because they go off a lot. You have to be prepared for them to go off cold blank. You'll have 100,000 people. You have 75,000 people. You have this. And if the teleprompter goes off, you got to be able to move. She did not move well. This was not a good situation. Uh, dummy, did you see where the teleprompter went off yesterday? She didn't know what the hell. My teleprompter, I don't even use it. That's why I don't actually use it too much. But... You know, when you do this stuff a lot, teleprompters break. She had a bad moment yesterday. It broke, right? And she kept saying the same number over and over. I said, what's wrong with her? <laughs> and maybe it, maybe it didn't break. I don't know. She said it broke. But a total puppet. Not a brain cell there. She's an empty suit. Nothing original about her. The next tough interview she had was 60 Minutes. And 60 Minutes finally gave her a little pushback. But it seems that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is not listening. Well, Bill, the work that we have done has resulted in a number of m movements in that region by Israel that were very much prompted by or a result of uh, many things, including our advocacy for what needs to happen in the region. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I like chunky blue cheese dressing on my word salad, Kamala. What the hell is this? Let's hear some more. My plan is about saying that when you invest in small businesses, you invest in the middle class, and you strengthen America's economy. Small businesses are part of the backbone of America's mm. economy. But, but pardon me, Madam Vice President. I, the, the question was, how are you going to pay for it? Well, one of the things is I'm going to make sure that the richest among us who can afford it pay their fair share in taxes. It is not right that teachers and nurses and firefighters are paying a ha higher tax rate than billionaires and the biggest corporations. But, and but, I plan on making that fair. But we're dealing with the real world here. But the real world includes... How are you going to get this through Congress? You know, when you talk quietly with a lot of folks in Congress, they know exactly what I'm talking about because their constituents know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> How are you going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it? Answer the damn question. Instead of... Using the same lines, we're going to make the rich folks pay for it. How? How? You don't squeeze the turnip dry. There's no more blood in the turnip. Man, I seen a meme the other day that kind of made some sense, okay? When Obama's running, he needed a dumb vice president, so he got Biden. When Biden was running, he needed a dumb vice president. He hired Kamala. Kamala is running, and she needs a dumb vice president, so she got Tim Walls. <laughs> and I'm a knucklehead at times. But, but he at least got the balls to go on Fox News. And let's take a listen. I want to clarify what the law is there in Minnesota. Abortion Finder, a website that helps women find access, says abortion is legal throughout pregnancy in Minnesota. There is no ban 
or limit on abortion in Minnesota based on how far along in a pregnancy you are. You signed the bill that makes it legal through all nine months. Is that a position you think Democrats should advocate for nationally? Look, the vice president and I have been clear the restoration of Roe versus Wade is what we're asking but for. But that this law is a goes far right beyond Roe v. Wade. To make her own choice. The law, does, the law is very clear. It does not change that. That has been debunked on every occasion. But, but wait, look, this wait. Is a, but let's let's, let's agree. What you win. signed is there's not a single limit through nine months of pregnancy. Roe had a trimester framework that did have limits through the pregnancy. The Minnesota law does not have that. This puts... This puts the decision with the woman and her health care providers. The situation we have is when you don't have the ability of health care providers to provide that, that's where you end up with a situation like Amanda Zaworski in Texas, where they are afraid to do what's necessary. This doesn't change anything. It puts the decision back on to the woman, to the physicians. And we know that this is simply something to be brought up to be very clear. Donald Trump's asking for a nationwide abortion ban. Wait, he and has again, said that we he, don't see this as a winning campaign. That he will not sign a national abortion ban. Are you calling that just, it's a flat out lie? Yes, it, it, of course. And, and uh... This is why Kamala stays far away from Fox News. And this is all your fault. You did not do no interviews. If you had did more interviews and let the people see you and you got some more toughness, a little callous around it, around your heart, you probably been better at this, Tim Walls, Kamala, but you hiding in the basement. There's no COVID out there. You cannot use the same strategy as Biden did. Biden stayed in the basement because of COVID. But you're trying to do the same thing. Now, we know why Biden is a little slow. He's old. Kamala, what the hell is your excuse? So 32 days. 32 days. Meanwhile, Trump goes back to Butler, Pennsylvania. He ain't scared. And he brought his friend, Elon Musk. His name is Elon Musk. He saved free speech. He created so many different great things. Where, the, where is he? Come on up here, Elon. He created the first major American car company in generations and his rocket company is the only reason we can now send American astronauts into space. Come here. Take over, Elon. Yes, take over. Hi, everyone. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark MAGA. Guys, I hope you are registered to vote. Today is the last day in Georgia to be registered to vote. And if you registered, October 12th is the early voting in Georgia. Go out early, bring a friend, and make it known. All right? Go out early. Because there's another hurricane coming, you never know what's going to happen in November or late October. Okay? So get it done. Hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.